106 degrees, moderate winds. It has been a very tense afternoon, nerve-wracking for the hundreds of people who have been evacuated. You see what's left of the foothills there after the fire swept through it. If we look farther to the west, you still see heavy smoke moving in over the homes that have been evacuated. If we go to some videotape from earlier this afternoon, you can see the extent of this fire. More than 1,000 acres, rugged, steep terrain. But at the base of the foothills, homes. Northeast Duarte, the Fish Hill neighborhood. These are homes right up against the, uh, the foothills. They're used to the danger here, but it doesn't make it any easier. You can see uh, from the ground when the order to evacuate came, people were ready. They've been watching the coverage, of course, in Goleta over the past few days. They're aware of the risks, and most of them here have unfortunately lived through fires before, although none that have been that devastating. Uh, there's a natural fire break behind a lot of these homes leading up to the base of the, uh, the Angeles National Forest that works in the favor of the residents and the homeowners. But as you can imagine, if this was one of your houses and you were forced to pack up and leave with very little notice, text, call, wait, watch, it was a very nervous time. I've been here five years, um, and I've been warned that they haven't had a fire here in over 40 years, so I was kind of expecting this, but not this soon. I wasn't prepared. I haven't packed anything. It's pretty cra crazy and nasty. Um, I'm just glad that they do have all the helicopters that they have now because back in the early 80s, there was no such thing as helicopters or planes. It was just the fire department, and yeah. they, they struggled a lot. And it's, it's nice to know that they have all of, all of the equipment out. So. And there's still a couple of hours of daylight left at least for the uh, aerial bombardment to continue with both the helicopters and the fixed-wing aircraft. You still see some pretty thick smoke that's drifting to the north. And that's what's important because north is towards the Angeles National Forest away from these homes. And that's what both the residents and the firefighters would like to see. The temperatures are still above uh, 100 degrees. You see the wind blowing those leaves right above me. I'd say it's, it's fairly mild, 10 to 15 miles per hour. And if that doesn't get any worse, I think the immediate danger has passed. And now the task is to, uh, is to make sure that uh, these embers don't blow. There's no spot fires that might catch some of these homes on fire. But again, it's hard to see. But if you look behind this house, you can see that concrete and dirt wall. Uh, and it's sort of a, I guess you'd call it a, a fire break that's been built up over the years uh, because of where these houses are and the very real risk of just what we're seeing this afternoon. Bobby, Lauren.